Okay guys, I'll walk you through what's gonna happen here. Got 10 water jugs. I'm gonna test out a 210 grain charge. Uh, do a little bit of penetration test. We'll see how many it can go through. So uh, if you wanna take a gas pause video, put your guests down below and uh, whoever's closest gets the bragging rights. So I hope this is enough jugs to stop it. I don't think it's gonna go all the way through, but you never know. So, all right, I'll pause the video and let's get after it. All right guys. Got a 726 grain copper slug, 210 grains of Reloader 17. Don't know what the velocity is, but we're going to see what it does and see how it does on penetration, hopefully. Got to say, this one's making me a little bit nervous. Okay, so that one was only doing 2,000 feet per second for some reason. That was uh, one of the lighter neck tensions. So, I'll do that same charge again and increase the neck tension like I did on these other ones and I should get uh, much improved velocity out of that. So, we managed to hit it. I don't know how many jugs we went through. So, let me count that up and I'll show you. Okay, so my camera got knocked over in that blast, but holy crap. It just freaking destroyed these. So we got freaking hippily jugs all the way back out to here. So I'm going to try to find this slug and I'll get back with him. Okay, so next time we do this, I'm going to need more water jugs. It went through every single one of these. It started to skew towards the end. Uh, blew that one apart. Blew that one apart. Um, it didn't really start skewing until the last few. It, just, it kept a pretty straight line through one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So. I mean, it did pretty good. It, you can tell this is the last one on the table. It uh, started to slow down quite a bit, so I, I'm pretty sure if I had uh, uh, probably two or three more on there, it would have stopped. I might look around on the grass a little bit, see if I can't find the slug. But, yeah, I'd say that would do it.